Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in the city. And now I live in the Midwest on a farm and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Are y'all ready for another chicken dish? I love chicken. Actually, I love all meats, but we're going back to an oldie but a goodie, crunchy chicken casserole. One of my best friends from college gave me the most awesome cookbook after we got married, and it was the Dallas Junior League cookbook, and it has the most amazing recipes, but this is from there. It's so much fun because it's chicken, but also it has some fun things in it, and it even has veggies, so it's healthy! Woo! Let me show you what you'll need. You'll need minced onion, Parmesan cheese, celery, chicken, cheddar cheese, slivered almonds, green bell pepper, a jar of pimentos, Lay's potato chips, salt and pepper, mushrooms, mayonnaise, and lemon juice. I started shredding my chicken, and this is how y'all shred it. Y'all know to shred your chicken. This is the best way to do chicken. Best way, best way. I mean, unless you're gonna fry chicken. <laughs> then you need a drumstick. This recipe is great because everything goes into one bowl and then you put it in your nine by 13 and then you put some things on top and put it in the oven. So, chicken in first. This adds crunch to our crunchy chicken casserole. <laughs> some of y'all put peanut butter on celery. I've never tried peanut butter on celery. I'm not opposed, I probably would love it. And when it's cooked, it's just a really good soft texture, but not mushy, but like perfect. The celery balances out the other rich flavors in the casserole. It's gonna be so good. Trust me on that celery. It doesn't even sound like me, but I promise I would never let you down. <laughs> I might. Jesus will never let you down. <laughs> that I can say for sure. You could actually get a beat going here if you wanted to. Then celery. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop my mushrooms. <laughs> I love mushrooms so much. They really add. And they just make everything pretty and they make everything taste great. I love sauteed mushrooms. I love raw mushrooms. I love all kinds of mushrooms. Here in the Midwest, I have friends who hunt for mushrooms. They're called morels. And apparently they are just the treasure of all treasures. I've never been hunting for these. Some sweet friends have shared their morels with us and you dredge them in butter and flour and salt and pepper and then you saute them in butter and I'm telling you they're amazing. <laughs> I think if they were readily available we wouldn't think they were that great. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I would love them no matter what. Okay now our mushrooms are ready to go into our bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a few as well. Now we're going to chop our green bell pepper. <laughs> so the girls have a garden every year and sweet Roger, my father in love, he gets out there with the big machine and he'll till it and do anything that you're supposed to do for a garden. Um, me being a city girl, I don't know anything about a garden, um, but my girls love gardens and <laughs> they always pick what to plant and grandpa always helps them. He has ever since they were little. And um, our family loves green bell peppers and I mean raw, sauteed. I've never fried one, but I'm game. <laughs> so this year we finally grew some little bitty cute, adorable green bell peppers. There was like one plant in the garden that, you know, really bore these tiny little beautiful little things. We were like, do we eat them? Do we frame them? What do we do with these beauties? <laughs> Our soil is insane. It will grow anything. It's amazing. I'm very thankful. In Arkansas, where I grew up, the underlying soil is mostly clay. So um, I'm not used to just going out there and you know, you, you could take a handful of dirt and it's just dark, rich, black gold. <laughs> we'll grow anything. And my husband, you know, can farm like a boss. And I'm probably the opposite of that. <laughs> my girls, they got his green thumb though. They can grow anything. Speaking of growing things, 
my youngest daughter was eating a mango several years ago and you know how they have that pit in there that's really flat and thick and just kind of tough well she ate the mango and then she planted the mango seed my girls are always planting things always planting something so you know this was no different she planted it in this little coffee container with dirt and pretty soon this little leaf came up we were like it's growing so anyway it grew she named it ronald it grew it had to be repotted until it turned into this little mango tree and it was amazing but she took such good care of it and bless her heart when she went to college it um ronald ronald died under the care of me rest ronald's soul next we're going to put in our half a cup of slivered almonds and i toasted mine and my whole kitchen smells so good you know when you toast nuts the flavor comes out so beautifully so i'm going to put these in i wonder if i can get them in like this Ooh, let's see <laughs> totally did it <laughs> Woohoo! now we're going to put in three tablespoons of minced onion. You can also do, um, you know, a regular chopped onion with this if you want to. My family uh, does not like the feel of an onion, so we just do the minced onion or onion powder. And my cute spoon. Then, three tablespoons of lemon juice. All of these flavors together smell so good. We're gonna put some salt and pepper fun with the grinder. I always thought it would be fun to learn how to, you know, flip a grinder and catch it. <laughs> we'll practice on that. <laughs> you gotta have goals. And the perfect thing to add, mayonnaise. Then we're gonna stir it all together. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, stirring it with my spoon from the Holy Land of olive wood. This is gonna be so yummy. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of hard to stir around. <laughs> but look how pretty. All right, I'm gonna get it all in there. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna press this down because the next thing we're gonna put on is cheese. You're supposed to put just about a cup, but you know me and cheese, I like cheese, so I'll put a little bit more than that. Next, we're gonna put a cup and a half of finely crushed Lay's potato chips on top. And when you open a brand new bag of Lay's potato chips, there's just something about it. The chips in there are just perfectly formed and it's awesome. When the girls were little, I homeschooled them for a little bit. And we went on a field trip, a homeschool field trip to a potato chip factory. It was super cool. It's like one of my favorite memories. <laughs> anyway, we got to taste a fresh chip. It was amazing. So let's crush these. We're crushing them. <laughs> I love when people say, you're crushing it, crush it. You crushed it. <laughs> I'm always like, ha <laughs> ha, chips. <laughs> the last thing you do is just sprinkle Parmesan cheese over the top. Now we're gonna put aluminum foil over it and put it in the oven. All right, we're gonna put this in our 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. Okay, I've just taken this out of the oven. It's cooked 35 minutes. You take off the cover, stick it back in for another five minutes. Okay, I'm putting it back in for another five minutes. This is sizzling, can you hear it? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in here and show y'all what this looks like. It's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> It sure was fun being with y'all today. Thanks so much for joining me again. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.